Why is love so fragile, Safia? I think it's hard to say. I think it's because people put all their hope into the other person and don't realize that not everyone can be everything for them. That's an interesting point, but I believe there is something more fundamental going on. What? Love is fragile because even if you find someone who can be every single thing to you, they still might break your heart. But that's true for everything in life. We can't avoid disappointment. That's my point. I see. You see, love is really about finding the person who understands you best. And how does someone understand another? I think people who understand each other well can read each other's mind like no one else. So they don't need to use words to understand each other. They are always in sync, like two gears meshing together. That sounds nice. But I think that the reason people fall out of love is because they fall out of sync with each other. What do you mean? When someone starts falling out of love with you, they stop feeling as comfortable around you and as in sync with you as before, so eventually they will stop loving you. I agree it can feel like that, but even if you are not feeling loving towards someone, love is still there. It's still something you have inside you. So what does it mean to fall out of love? It means the relationship has changed for the worse. You are no longer in sync with each other because one person's feelings have changed and they are no longer as comfortable being with the other person as before. Interesting. So love is a matter of being in sync with someone else. Yes. I agree that it feels like that, but I don't think it is like that at all. Safia, what do you think it means to be in sync with someone? It means understanding each other so well that there are no secrets between you anymore and your feelings are just as strong as they were when you first started the relationship. I see. So love is a matter of understanding. Yes. Understanding is so important to love that if you think your partner does not understand you, it can be the end of the relationship for you. I think that is right. So love is a matter of understanding. Yes. But why do you think people get in sync with each other in the first place? I think it's because they have things in common or because they are the same person or just because they want to be together, but the reason is always the same all around the world. They want to be with someone who understands them wholeheartedly and who can bring out the best in them. Yes, I think that's right. So when two people are in sync, they are understanding each other well and bringing out the best in each other. Yes. You were saying that love is fragile because even if you find someone who can be every single thing to you, they still might break your heart. Yes. But I don't understand why that is true. Why would they still break your heart? If you have everything you want in someone, then you are setting yourself up for disappointment because they are human and they can't be everything to you. They might start seeing things differently than before, or they might change in some other way that makes them incompatible with you. I see. What do you think? I think I understand it better now. You were saying that while love is a matter of understanding, and while understanding is always good, understanding, or being in sync, can only go so far. Understanding can't solve every problem in a relationship. Yes. I mean, you can't force someone to understand you more than they already do. And there are always going to be things in life that are beyond understanding. Yes, that's true. So the best understanding in the world will still break your heart sometimes. It will even break your heart more often than it won't. That's true. It's also true that you can't avoid that because the more understanding you have, the more hurt you can feel when that understanding is broken. Yes. So why do we bother with love at all? What's the point? I think we bother with love because it lifts us up and makes us better people. I see. You see, when you find love, you will feel safe for the first time in your life. You will no longer have to fear being all alone.
You will be happy with yourself and confident about the future because you have found someone to share it with. I think that's true. It lifts us up and makes us better people. I think it does something even deeper than that though, but it would be hard to explain in a short conversation like this one. I see. Do you want to know what it is? I do. Love wants you to be true to yourself. It gives you the confidence to be the person that is inside you, even if you are afraid of what people will think of you. It gives you the courage to be your best self. I think that is true. Love makes us better people, and more importantly, it makes us better versions of ourselves. And it also makes us better people in the ways that count, the ways we care about most. Yes. That's what William James meant when he said love was all about happiness. Yes. Love is all about happiness in the ways that matter to you. It's not just about being happy with yourself or being happy with the world. It's about being happy with a person, and it only works if that person is right for you. I get it now. I think that's why love is fragile and why it's so hard to put into words. It can bring out the best in us, but there is no guarantee of success even when we understand each other perfectly. That's right. Love is difficult because we are all human. We're all subject to change. And it's easy to misunderstand what we want and even easier to misunderstand what each other wants at times. That's right. Love is hard because the best version of ourselves that we can be is always going to make the other person feel uncomfortable sometimes. I think that's true. So love isn't even always about understanding. It's about always wanting to be who we are at our best, and it is that desire that makes love so fragile. Yes. It's fragile because it is based on the desire to be happy, and because happiness is so difficult to predict and so unpredictable in the ways that really matter to us. I can see where you're coming from here. I think that's what love is all about. It's not about finding someone who already understands you, and it's not even just about being happy with yourself as much as possible. Love is all about happiness in the ways we care most about, and if we want to be happy in these ways, we have to be brave enough to find someone who will understand us at least a little bit. It makes perfect sense now.